Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites where I have new videos every Tuesday. I also give an extra monthly video or Zoom call to my patrons. If you're interested in finding out about supporting me over there, the link is down in the description. Today is my personal video about setting up my Planner Perfect for the month of December. So most of the videos on my channel are not like this. Most of them are planner reviews. I am here to help you choose your next planner. If you are new here, you might wanna start out by checking out my top five videos. Um, those are all done just recently for 2022, my top five daily planners, top five weekly planners, top five wellness planners, top five goal planners, and I don't think I've missed one, and I still have coming up a top five notebooks and journals. And most of those top five have runner-ups too. A lot of them have up to five runner-ups. So there's lots of different choices, just going through them really quickly. And so you can see the basic layouts, and if you see one that interests you in those videos, I have linked all my review videos, the full reviews, walkthroughs, down in the description of those videos. So if you're new here, you might wanna start out by checking those out. I am just gonna slip on my wedding ring because I noticed I didn't have it on and it was sitting right there on my desk behind me and I almost always film with it on, so we'll just keep that consistent. So today we're gonna jump in and look at my December setup and talk about how I'm gonna use it. This is the Planner Perfect full subscription box. I have a Planner Perfect 101 video and I will link that down in the description also. If you are new to Planner Perfect and wondering what is available, what is it all about, what are your choices there, it's a whole traveler's notebook company with Jenny Penton is the owner and creator with all her personal artwork on all the journal covers. The journals are beautifully crafted. They feel so good in hand. They have a little texture to them. They come in different sizes. Next year, she's coming out with even more sizes. She's gonna come out with an A5 and other sizes. They are all sewn with a red thread. The paper is amazing paper that takes watercolor really well. Many people do art in these books, so it takes many art mediums. I don't personally do art in these books. And it is, I will link down in the description the pound weight because it's a little bit different kind of paper. It's like 24 pound journaling paper, which converts to, I think like 68 or 70 pound text weight paper. I'll put that in, descript in the description. My size is a wide. That's the biggest size she carries right now until she's gonna start carrying an A5 next year. And if you'd like to try out Planner Perfect, I have a 20% off code, AMANDA20. That will be down in the description too. Actually, if you've already ordered, you can still use my code, but it's just a one-time use. You can only use it once, AMANDA20, and it excludes her leathers, all her leather products. If you, if you like to pick out your own books and not do the sub box, the best use of the code is to fill up your cart, of course, with whatever books you want. Some people buy many books ahead and then use uh, my 20% off code. Before we jump into what was in the December sub box, Tara and I, my friend on Instagram, she's at homeschool with me on Instagram, we did a live together this time and I posted the link here um, under my community posts here on YouTube but I will repost the link down in this description. We did a live unboxing of this and we chatted a lot about Planner Perfect, but I also took questions from Instagram for both of us and we answered just a lot of questions. So it was like an hour long live on Instagram. Uh, it was really fun and so you can check that out if you are interested. This was my setup for November. If you remember, I have my setup video up here if you wanted to check out any of my past months, I didn't start doing these setup videos until I believe March of this year, 2021. Before that, I would usually just kind of share um, flip throughs on IGTV and what it, what it how I was using it on IGTVs on Instagram. This was the journal for November. This was my November plan book. And this was the October journal. I just stuck in here to look cute because I don't really need my list book in here right now. I haven't been using it. And so I just decided basically just for looks because when you're flipping, I loved this October journal, so I just stuck that in there. For November, if you go back and watch my video, I always tell you my intentions for how I think I'm gonna intend to use my plan book that month, but then my intentions can change throughout the month. So I started out using this as just journaling and I will just do a really quick flip. This is a Mary Bright picture from her page a day calendar. I absolutely love that picture. 
I just kind of wrote in big events here or good things that happened on the monthly. I write my goals up here, kind of Thanksgiving ideas on that page. And then it just depends on whatever I want to write on my weekly. Sometimes I write my wins. Sometimes I write just appointments. Sometimes I write one main thing that happened that day. So I use those weeklies differently because for those new here, this is not actually, I'm going to flip through while I'm talking. This is not actually my personal planning. This is actually more, I actually haven't been scripting lately. So Jenny preaches scripting and how amazing that is for changing your life. And that's just about writing out your day and your intentions in sentence form before your day happens. So the night before or the morning of and really being detailed in your intentions and how you want to feel and how you want to go about doing things and what order you want to do things in. And it makes you focus on those things that are most important to you. I actually, you know, always preach that I don't ever feel pressured to plan one way or the other. And I just have not felt like scripting. And so I have not been scripting for quite a long time. I started out scripting a lot. I would script, but I couldn't work through my days that way. I still had to make a list um, because that is the way my brain works. So a lot of times I would script on one side, list my daily to-dos on the other. Then I went a lot to just full journaling in here. So you'll see today is Monday. So that's kind of where I stopped. And there's just a little bit written ahead. So here we are Monday of Thanksgiving week right now when I am filming this but you will be watching it next week after Thanksgiving on November 30th. I did not fill out this week at all or put any washi back here because this week starts the December book and so she gives you a choice of staying in here when it starts midweek or switching and I always switch to the next one so I can see ahead, I'm always ready. So you get extra pages that way a lot of times and I was just playing around with like a layout. Since there's just blank pages in between every weekly layout, there's two pages per day, except for Saturday and Sunday, there's one page each, but you can really split them up and use them however you want. And so there's my month in review. That's the washi tape that came in the box. So this month I have mainly been using it for journaling. There was a few days I used it for my daily list because I wanted to test if I wanted to go out of my daily list, little Becky Higgins notebook, how I plan is all in my quarterly review, uh, quarterly planning update videos. And I will link that for all my quarterly planning update videos for 2021. I divide them out by year. I will link that down in the description so that if you're new here and you wanna see how I actually plan and how Planner Perfect fits into that. Since I've used Planner Perfect for my daily list before, sometimes I jump back in and try out my list, but I'm back in my Becky Higgins daily notebook right now for my list and this so there were some daily lists in here, but it's mainly journaling. And then I even started writing some of my prayers in here at night. So just like a nightly prayer in here because I have um, this in my bedroom and this is what I thought at night usually for journaling. And sometimes I write out like intentions or a little bit of scripting for the next day ahead. So I find that recently when I've been doing this um, for the past couple months, I've been liking to do it with my nightly five year journals that I do. And those are all in my planning updates video. Just for those new here too, I didn't say that this video will be all unedited except for the intro and the outro. And that is very different from my review videos. If you're wanting something that's a little bit more professional, flows faster, and just you know shows you planners, those are all my review videos. My reviews are actually listed here on my channel. I've worked really hard on my playlist to make them easy for you to find. I've divided them by planner type and then I've divided them by planner company, the companies that I've done several or more reviews for. So you can look under e either one of those. So you could look like under planner type for daily planners or weekly planners or wellness planners, or you could look under planners by company and look up a specific company name. Also, you can just type in any planner name into my channel search bar to search for a specific video. Okay, so that's my November. It's been beautiful in my cocoa leather. My leather comparison video, I will link down below. That's just an IGTV. I really hope to do a YouTube on that soon. And I say that every month, I know, but it really is charted in for the beginning of 2022. And I don't wanna let anything else bump it. But this is the Coco. Also, all the different page insides, I will link that IGTV too, where it shows what her lines look like, her graph grid, her dot grid. Because if you get the subscription box, it is only blank pages. 
and you get all that information in my planner 101 video okay so let's look what came with the december box and talk about my intentions for using december i got my plan book which is probably my favorite cover of all times from her you guys i love wreaths like i'm obsessed with wreaths but especially christmas wreaths um and this one is so detailed and so beautiful and this girl holding it like she's probably my favorite girl that jenny's ever done and my favorite wreath and it is just stunning and the tartan on the back because when you flip your books in your TN, it matters just as much as what's on the back as what's on the front. So I'm in love with her. And then this is the journal for December in the subscription box, Joy to the World. I love it also. I love how she used a wreath for the O. So I'm very happy with these, her cute little gingerbread man and just the black and white check. Your journal every month is completely blank. If you purchase a journal off her site though and not the subscription box, you can choose the inside pages. You can also choose what goes on front and you get to choose from all her covers. So this new art will go up on her site within a couple of weeks. So it won't you won't be able to order it in time for Christmas. It will be there for next Christmas. All her old art, so from all the other seasons, you can go and order whatever art you love. So you can pick your own covers. Her subscription box is a surprise of her new art. And so you don't get to pick your covers there, but that is, this is a full subscription box. There are different options where you can just get accessories or you can just get the journal or just get the plan book. So make sure to check out all those options if you're interested. The accessories that come in the box are tipping cards, four pages of stickers and washi tape. And I'm gonna have to grab my washi tape really fast because, or maybe I don't really need to. It comes with three rolls of washi. And these are the three rolls that came for this month. Her son Taylor did this reindeer. And then it is this, is that called Buffalo Check? And then a Merry Christmas. And you will see it all throughout my planner. So I do this setup video different every single month. This month I set up my whole planner beforehand just because I wanted to. I wanted to work on it one night and I just didn't really feel like filming myself, setting it up. And, and so I did that this time. But if you watch, if you've watched my other months of setups, I've done it all differently every month. Sometimes I set it up with you and decorate some pages and then come back at the end and show you it fully decorated. This is the first, first month that Jenny has ever done 12 different tipping cards. Now you always get 12 tipping cards, but they, you usually get six designs, two of each. And she pulls her new art and her old art and pulls it all in. This month she did 12 different ones, which is, so amazing and fun like really fun I, I don't know how she'll do the rest of the months but I do sometimes like having doubles because I like to give them away and then I still feel like I have one like even if it's my favorite art but this is a really cute I actually love this art around the December calendar now I personally won't like use this December calendar I don't think I will look at it even if I stick it in my in my TN I probably won't look at it but it just the art around it and the month itself and how she highlighted the 25th it is just stunning sorry if I wasn't I should have checked if I was on camera there and you get 12 tipping cards let's flip through just really quickly these we have that December we have the I call her wreath girl she's from years before may your days be merry and bright hot cocoa weather joy to the world hello December Believe with Santa, the North Pole, that's her son's reindeer. And holiday baking, baby it's cold outside. The trees on the cars, oh, our new wreath girl. I mean, I love it, we have two wreath girls now. Where's our other one? Let's find her. I absolutely love both of them, but I this is my favorite. Love, love, love it. And then her like vintage Santa love him tipping cards are fun to not only you can write events or things you forgot or memories you made in on the back because it's really nice to write on it's not shiny or anything on the back on the front it's kind of coated to protect it but the back is not so it's good to write on you can tip it in your planner and then it will like just stay in there and it's like a memory or you can washi it in like one side where you could flip it up and read it or you can give them with gifts or in like a card that you send to someone, you just send it blank so that they can have it to either stick up on their magnet board or bulletin board or use it. You get four pages of stickers, two of each. Now I already used one of each of these in here and I might add more as the month goes on. 
but lately I've been starting by using like one of each page and then if I just want to add more as the month goes on I see how much I write but these are all her stickers from this month aren't they beautiful it's taking all her new artwork her old artwork her stickers are really really nicely made they're thick but not too thick honestly these I'm not a huge sticker person in my planner you guys know that but these are like my favorite stickers I've ever had in my life period because I love her artwork I love these stickers they're just great quality so four pages of that in your sub box now stickers and tippins and washi do go up for sale soon after her box comes out but they usually go really quickly and then she doesn't restock them. So if you're wanting to catch any of these, check her site. And don't forget if you wanna use my Amanda20 code on anything, if you haven't used it, one time use. Let's just flip through my book now that we've gone through what comes in the sub box and we will just look at how I decorated it. A couple months ago, I was using like Mary Ingle Bright pictures on like every day of my planner. It's from her page a day calendar and I would just cut them out, right? The ones I liked and use them and double side tape them in with the scotch little tape roller. I have that linked in my Amazon store. If you can't find that, I have planner favorites linked there. And I have this link to my Amazon store too, her day by day calendar. I hadn't brought them in in several months and I decided for Christmas I would bring them in. I mean, I did stick that one in my very, very first page of November that I shared, but I didn't put any other throughout November. So I did bring some into this book because I just felt like Christmas. I feel like I'm really just going to journal and memory keep this month. I mean, maybe I will write some nightly prayers in here. We'll just see what I feel like. But I definitely, because Christmas, you know, the month of December just lends itself so well to journaling and memory keeping. I put her little December 25th sticker on there and a little washi, but I like to leave it open to write in. And then my friend Tara gave this to me last year from a Planner MV sticker box. The Planner MV sticker boxes um, a lot of times come with clips. They come with different accessories every month. And I've never gotten one of their boxes, but Tara's subscribed to them a lot. And she gave this clip to me. She knows how much I love holly and wreaths. Like, I just love the look of this. And this goes with, look at that, when the wreath perfectly it's definitely going to be used just to mark my page in this planner this month I decorated my goals pages and what I do in here this is really the only place I've been writing my goals this year I rewrite like my heart goals every month they're not like Whitney English's heart goal system so it's not that but I've always called them my heart goals like even before I knew about her system because they're the goals that basically stay the same from month to month but you know, you tweak the things you do for them. Like it's like my relationship with my husband, my relationship with each of my sons, you know, my health, um, my spiritual uh, relationship with God and my scripture study and prayer. So all those things that are the very most important to me that don't have to do with like to do's on the house or or anything like that. I usually use at least one or two pages for the heart goals and basically it's just to like write my intention for the month around that thing. And it stays, you know, generally the same. But if I see I need to tweak something, like something is not working, you know, with bonding with my youngest son, like we're not getting in that time, then I need to tweak and think of other ways to do it. And then I will use the other goal page if I only used one for that for like the to-dos, the things around the house or the things in my life that just need to get done. If I don't end up using all the goal page pages for that, then the other goal pages sometimes remain blank, but generally not because I end up filling them in with other notes. Like this can be like Christmas and New Year's Eve planning. So just brainstorming ideas, you know, asking my family what they wanna do and taking that down. This is gonna be a very different year for us without Pierce here. We might do different things. So it'll be good to get my family's ideas and, and decide what we're gonna do. So these pages will definitely be used up this month for that. I pulled in, you will notice, I'm not just using the three washi tapes from this box, which I showed you back here, which came with this box. I'm also using her washi tapes from last year. And that's kind of a really fun thing with getting her box. Even if you just get the accessories box, box you'll just get the tippins, the four pages of stickers, and the three washies every month which some of the washies every month have some of her artwork on them. Like that's her handwriting and that's her son's reindeer. 
I would have loved a wreath washi this month with like this wreath made small on it, you know? Ah, uh, or like holly, I would have loved that. Or a poinsettia. I worked with what I had and I love her washi from like, this was a January washi from this year, from 2021. So January a lot of times can spill into here. And I love to layer my washi and sometimes I put it on top bottom, sometimes I put it on the sides. So that is her vintage Santa on the washi from last year. It's so cute when her artwork, when her intricate little artwork gets put on washi tape. So I think that's a fun thing because the washi lasts for a long, long time. So you can reuse it season after season. I mean, I only use it in this book really, or if I'm giving someone a card. So mine doesn't get used up after just one season. Her rolls are very generous. And you can see those, I know I didn't pull them here today, but they are in the unboxing that Tara and I did on IGTV that I will link here. Or you can go and watch my previous month's videos here and you'll see the size of the rolls, my previous setup videos. And then I generally just have been picking. So throughout this time, if you followed me, it's morphed and changed. But right now I've just been generally picking one sticker and just stick it on there. Like this page has two stickers, but I just kind of look what goes with it. And once again, the hot cocoa from January goes really well with the red and black buffalo check. And this is her snowman from this January. At least, yeah, I'm pretty sure he was in January and not December. I just love that I can go pull the amazing washi tape from the year before. I love the candy cane. I would have loved more of those and the little lights. Put Merry Christmas and lights and my wreath girl. Now this month, I am not sure that I'm gonna predate. So I've gone back and forth on different months. In November, I went ahead and predated my whole book. Can't remember, October, I don't think I did. September, I don't think I did. I predated pretty much all the way up until I think August, July or August this year. So where I predate the pages, and I like to use Erin Condren dual tip markers for that. And just use colors that go with the washi and the season. I just love the thick end of the Erin Condren dual tip markers. They work well for that for me and the colors that she has. So we'll see. I might start in it not dated. That's why I didn't date it. And then I might go back and date it. When you don't date it, it just leaves a lot open to you. Like if you did something big one day and you want to journal over that or put pictures or whatever for four pages instead of the two pages per day, then you have that. And then if another day not a lot goes on and you just have one page, then that's, you know, works out too. So that's why I think I'm going to leave the dates blank. And that's why I left them blank. For my weekly layouts, I always just put one strip of washi on Monday and Friday. So easy, it works for me, it adds color and splash and I just don't have to think about it. So that's kind of always what I've done there. Like I said, some weeks I write all my wins in here, like at the end of the day, because I'm doing this at the end of the day in journaling. I'm just thinking, what were all the things that were wins today? And it just makes me feel really good at the end of the night to think about those, because sometimes at the end of the day, we can feel defeated and so tired, and our mind is often going to all the things that didn't get done, or things we wish we had handled differently with our children or our spouses. And instead of going there before bed, to go to a place of thinking, of all the good things that did happen is a really nice place. So a lot of times I do use my weeklies for that. And it's also nice to just look over it all in the scope of a week and say, wow, okay, when you look at all your wins for the week in one two page spread, I'm telling you, it's a really good boost. It's, it's like a hug. It's a really nice hug. <laughs> it feels good. So there's an idea for you if you don't know how to use your weekly spreads. I mean, I know pe many people plan in these books though, and it's all their timed appointments and their to-dos and such. And then they're scripting and listing their to-dos on the daily pages. And I have done that before. This, I've been in Planner Perfect for, what, a year and a half now, a year and a half. So I've done all kinds of things in it. And if you want to know more about scripting, go check out Planner Perfect's YouTube channel where Jenny Penton, the creator of this, planner system and traveler's notebooks. She has so many videos on her scripting methods. But what I love about all these TNs and journals, so you can get plan books in them, you can get journals, you can choose your pages, is that you can get monthlies only, is that no one is telling you what to do in them. Yes, she is laying out what works best for her and her system, but 
you can do anything you want in these books. They can just be for journaling. They can be for scrapbooking. They can be for writing good memories and putting pictures in. They can be for doing like art in and then journaling over that. So they're really for whatever you want to use them for. And they're just really beautiful books that feel so good in hand. So there's the Black Reindeer. This thin washi I had from Michaels like years ago and it wasn't sticking that well. So we'll see if it stays down. I love the way it looks. It just says warm winter wishes in gold, but I'm not sure if it's actually going to stay down there. Jenny's stickers just, they add such, such a nice touch to the page, her artwork. Like the page would just not seem the same with just the washi or some generic stickers in my opinion. I just, I'm a huge fan of Jenny's stickers. I love this holly washi. It was also from Michaels like years and years ago. And I don't know if it's gonna stick either because it wasn't seeming that sticky when I put it down. But I absolutely love it. I wish it was even a thicker one, but I thought it went so well with Vintage Santa. Then cute wreath girl with all the lights. And as I fill this out, I really do start to think of all the things that I wanna do for the month of December. You know, it is generally one of the, I know people can be stressed out, but I really do try to focus on the true meaning of Christmas and, and all the nights sitting by the tree where we can read stories and I drink tea and just, I mean, I sit there alone a lot too. It's just a beautiful time of year. If you slow down and really take it all in and also weather wise, I just, Love the cool weather in Texas, and that's generally the month that all the trees here are losing their last leaves. I know many of y'all lost all your last leaves well before then, but our red oak usually loses the last of its leaves by Christmas, really. And then we have a big pile of leaves on Christmas to rake up. And you'll see I added in some Marangle Bright pictures here, but I still had some that I tore out that I didn't add in. So I might go add those in later. I just wasn't sure how much room I was gonna want for journaling. And I know this could be a really hard month for me. I don't know how I'm gonna take it with Pierce being gone for his first Christmas and it's still like so fresh. I do just miss him so much. And of course, the missing has gotten easier over time and I get to talk to him once a week. Um, for those that don't know, my son is serving a two year mission for our church, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I only get to talk to him once a week. We don't get to text in between. So it's. It's really hard. Pierce and I were really close and he also worked for me on my channel. He is greatly missed in our home by all of us. We will get through our first Christmas without him. I'm leaving it open to know that I don't know how I'll feel. <laughs> and it's kind of nice to leave it open to not have high expectations of yourself and just let yourself feel whatever you're feeling. I love that Mary Bright picture. So I guess I'm going really slow through this this month. A lot of times I do a fast flip through because I didn't decorate it at all on here with you guys. Those are all of Jenny's little lights and I might draw some light strings up there. I just didn't yet. So wait, we're getting close to Christmas because I didn't date these pages. Let's see. Christmas Eve is Friday. Christmas Day is Saturday. Here is Christmas Eve. That's why I put the Santa with the believe. I thought this looked so beautiful for Christmas Eve. And then this is Christmas Day. I put our angel and the lights and the Christmas 25th day sticker right there. And then that's the 26th, cause Saturday and Sunday, you chart one page each. So even though I didn't date them, I kind of charted the pages that way with thinking about what day it was. This week, I don't know what she'll include in January. It starts on a Saturday and sometimes when it's just been two days, she actually just gives you one page like this um, in the front or she has before. I hope she gives us the whole week to start like fresh in January this whole week. This is that interesting week between between Christmas and you know January 1st. So I'm not sure what she'll give us in the next book. Um, I'm hoping the whole week and not just this page, but we'll see. And so I might have extra pages here, but I don't know yet. In which I could cut out like some wrapping paper that we use and stick it in here. Or actually I do that in my Planner Perfect Christmas journal plan book. And that one will carry over year after year for me. Some people have huge families. You might only be able to use it for a year or two, but I will link that she has a Christmas journal plan book specifically with some, with pages laid out. Let's see if I can reach mine, but I have a whole video here on YouTube with that. So if you are interested, I know it's kind of too late to order for this year. I just started mine last year and it will continue this year. 
So it has beautiful printed pages with green and red. It has a lot of blank pages for memories and writing out recipes and things. And then it has a lot of pages filled out with like treats to make and gifts to buy and dividing up people's lists. Really cute with green and red all over. So my full review and you get this beautiful printed page up front on the Planner Perfect Christmas Planner will be linked down in the description. I can't believe I didn't mention that till now. That wraps up our December. Oh no, you guys, this video is getting longer than I thought. I forgot, we have to look and see which TN we are gonna go into. Now, Tara and I kind of talked about this on our live. I really don't think, I mean, Tara brought this out to look at it, but I'm not gonna go into Francesca, the rose gold. Although it could look beautiful if you have the Francesca because I think I'm either gonna go into the Jade or the Poppy. This one I remember using in January last year and I bet it's gonna be the one I pick for January this year. I just like the light, bright, like fresh start feel of it. And so this one, will be in January, I'm sure. And we have to decide. Let's look. Okay, so Wreath Girl and the Poppy would look absolutely stunning. I think I'm gonna go with the Poppy. You guys, out of all the colors I have, I still think Poppy is my very favorite. So if we put her in Poppy, it's gonna look, I like it in Poppy, but let's look at it in green. My list book is still in here from another month that I left it in there. If you have Jade, she's going to look absolutely stunning. But I'm going to have to go with Poppy, you guys. I, th I was pretty sure I was going to lean in that direction. And now I'm positive. So let's just stick them in here and stick in some tipping cards. Okay, for now we're going to leave that. And then I'm just gonna stick my clip in here for when I start working in my goals page and my monthly. And that is gonna wrap up December. Oh, what a good month. It's gonna be a good month. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me on this longer chatty video. I'd love to hear all your thoughts down below or your questions. Let me know what your favorite part of December is. I mean, I realize everyone does not celebrate Christmas so whatever you do celebrate, you know, let me know your favorite part of the season. All right, guys, we are, look at this drast, drastic contrast, I feel like, of going from Thanksgiving to Christmas. I feel like it's pretty, there's a big change. And that's why I love Planner Perfect, because really with the new book every month, you really do feel like you've, you're wrapping up one month and you're moving into another. And you really feel like a fresh start on a new season. You know, I don't know how long in my life I will keep up, you know, all the journaling that I've been doing in these books every month in the plan books. Someday I might go back to using it just for my daily list. But right now I'm enjoying it, especially for seasons like the holiday season. So I'm going to keep up the journaling. All right. Have a good one, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of others. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.